The Shahab-3 is a medium-range ballistic missile, MRBM, developed by Iran in the early 2000s. Derived from North Korea's Nadong-1 platform, it was first publicly tested in 1998 and officially entered service around 2003. It is powered by a liquid-fueled engine and has a maximum range between 1,300 to 2,000 kilometers, depending on payload configuration. The missile reaches a maximum altitude of over 400 kilometers during its mid-course trajectory, allowing it to exit the atmosphere briefly before re-entering toward the target. The Shahab-3 is designed to carry a single warhead of up to 1,200 kg, typically high-explosive fragmentation or submunitions. The missile is not highly precise by modern standards, with an estimated circular error probable, SEP, of around 200 meters, meaning it is optimized for large, strategic targets rather than pinpoint accuracy. Upon impact, a Shahab-3 armed with a unitary high-explosive warhead causes devastation across a 300-meter primary blast radius, with structural damage radiating to over 40,000 square meters. Reinforced buildings within a 100-meter radius would be severely compromised or destroyed. If detonated in a densely populated area or military base, expected casualties range from 700 to over 1,500, depending on timing and personnel density. If equipped with submunitions, the missile can cover broader targets such as airfields, logistics yards, or fuel depots. Strategically, Shahab-3 is used not for tactical warfare, but for long-range deterrence and regional pressure. Its value lies in its ability to threaten critical infrastructure far beyond Iran's borders, airports, oil refineries, naval bases, or even capital cities. Its relatively high apogee and extended flight time make it visible to early warning systems, but also serve to signal intent. It's as much a tool of geopolitical messaging as destruction. The Shahab-3 is a psychological and physical weapon. Its purpose is to force adversaries to invest in missile defense, disrupt their planning, and ensure Iran maintains retaliatory capabilities over large distances. Though aging, it remains a core part of Iran's strategic doctrine, a long-range, high-impact reminder of reach and consequence.